All right, today uh, I'm going to talk about designer belts, these being Fendi, and how to spot a real one and a fake one. Can you tell which of these two boxes is the real one? All right, let's start with the fake one, okay? This right here is what you would find at your flea market, your little bargain place. There's a place just down the street from me that's a bazaar, and they sell these for about $25, $35. Look at this, it's got some kind of Fendi card in here describing what it's made out of, which looks really authentic, but this is not a Fendi thing. I've never seen this card before. Um, this box, you know, just, um, the you can see where that like, maybe the ink is coming off of this, rubbing off, I don't know, maybe that's not a sign. This bag is not a Fendi bag. It's a bag that says Fendi on it, but that's not what they use. Let's have a look at the belt. Now this is the belt I was looking for. They call this the Monster Eyes. And uh, you know, it's enameled and it's got sort of a gold sheen and a textured pebbled brown leather. One of the things you'll find about Fendi and other brands, Versace, whatnot, they will be completely blemish free. There will be no ripples in the, in the design. If you look closely, closely, closely into the naming and the engraving, it should not have any, it should be very legible and clear. Um, you know, you notice this little badge the, the, or this, this staple, how it's just blank. And notice how the, the edge of this leather is just painted red. This thing is just painted on, it's painted red. Now on Versace belts, they use a vegetable dyed uh, leather, um, but you can tell the difference between a dyed leather and like a, this is just painted on. It's just, this is a fake belt. Now, you probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference if you didn't know what you were looking for. This one is a Fendi belt from Saks Fifth Avenue. It was an exclusive that they did with Saks. They also did one with Neiman Marcus. Now, I did get this belt secondhand from an eBay seller, but I, I believe that it's genuine. Here you have a leather tag that was, I took these off already. You had this leather tag that was hanging. You had this security price tag hanger. You, you've got this little plastic thing that says Fendi on it. Now, I did spot a mistake here. This price tag and this, um, quality guarantee tag should have both been inside this protective label. You know, that's just a thing these department stores do. They hide it in there and then you have to open it and look at it. And I think that might be one of the reasons this was a discounted item. I did notice on the box here, in this little area, I found where there were was a tag that has been removed. That's a good indication of this was a sales tag or possibly, you know, it was on sale. This person might have bought it at a huge discount and then sold it. Or maybe they ripped it off. Who knows? Who knows where they got it? But anyway, so here's some of the things you'll learn about a Fendi belt. All right. First of all, I'm cleaning this with a microfiber cloth because I've been touching it. The, the buckle, it's got my fingerprints all over it touching it but the buckle should be absolutely like just flawless clean crystal clear like a mirror should be very legible the writing you'll notice there's just a slight little curve to this ball when you look at the hinge <coughs> excuse me of the of the other one completely different mechanism here and also, much, much larger. Look at the size of that one versus this one. And this has like a gold, but it's not gold. Also, it's like we're trying to wrestle a snake over here. Also, let's take a look at those staples we looked at before. Notice the little FF, the Fendi marks on them. Let's also look at the construction of the belt. Now. Fendi doesn't make a red belt. They make a black belt with a red applique. Notice the belt is black, okay? There's no edge to this here, but what they've done is they've added a red applique of another piece of material. This is not painted on. 
if you, I bet you could, you know, this is a, it's been, it's been pressed, heat glued on, but also stitched. And take a look at the font, the stitching. Now you'll also see this red pattern with a slight texture on it on certain belts. If you go directly to a Fendi store, you'll find another version of this belt where this has a bit of a hatch pattern on it. This one doesn't have that. Also, Fendi belts come in one size fits all. They are adjustable, okay? So if someone's selling a Fendi belt in a particular size, they have already sized to that belt themselves or it's fake. You understand? So let me show you how that works. Now, this is a reversible belt. The mechanism flips over. Turn it this way, you got a red belt. Turn it this way, you got a black belt. How cool is that? I don't know if that makes it worth 500 bucks, but I bought it because I wanted red belt. Now, let me show you how this works. Let me find a little uh, tool here, a little knife. When you, when you turn this sideways, I think it only goes one way, that way. You'll see a tiny, tiny little notch right here. You just lift that carefully without hurting yourself. And you'll see these teeth. And that's what holds this belt in. So check out the construction of that, right? There's a spring-loaded screw in there that holds that. And then you will cut this belt to the size that you need it to be. Now, I need a size 36. I need to take a couple inches off of this because this is, you know, much, much bigger than I need. <coughs> Excuse me. But Fendi belts, this is how a Fendi belt buckle should be, you understand? So they're sold as one size fits all. Whoops. And you trim off what you don't need. Let's take a look at the holes. I don't think there's anything necessarily to really notice, but on a Versace belt, you'll notice, and this is not a Versace belt, but on a Versace belt, belt they put a tiny slit right here. They don't do these on this one. You can also see that this belt has not been worn, worn before. Because if it had been, one of these holes would have a little bit of an indentation and a bend in it. You would be able to see where this thing had poked through Let's see. and had done that. See how that works? And it would have left a mark. There's already a mark there, just from that right there. So you can tell whether or not the belt's been worn. Whereas, you know, with this thing, this is just fake. I mean, this thing was 25 bucks. And you might say to yourself, well, you know, also check out the end here. This, this Fendi indentation and how this is flat. This is not how a Fendi belt is. That's a Fendi belt. But you might say, hey man, you know, like, let's just get the $25 one because this one's $500. I can get this $25 piece of shit and uh, wear it around. But you want to know something? This belt would not last you very long. I'd say after, I, I wore it once, and after one wearing, the red started to fade and started to rub off. Notice all this black here? This was just rubbing off. The stitching, look at, look at this. The, the stitching is crooked. It's crooked. And look at the black on it, rubbing off. And it feels kind of tacky when you touch it. It's a little it just feels, you hear that? It's just, eh. It's kind of gooey. And the bottom line is, for the people who know that you're faking, the people who like me who could spot that belt a mile away, you have lost all respect in humanity. I'm just like, dude, you are either really stupid or you think I'm really stupid. And I don't even want to hang out with you. You're just lame. I mean, look, I, I agree. Some of these uh, brands, you know, this belt is $500. That's a little excessive for a belt, okay? I mean, the Versace belt, you know, it is fine Italian leather. I don't know what this is made out of. I don't, you know, I don't know a lot about Fendi. But um, I can tell you that this belt retails for 500 bucks. And I can also tell you, you're not going to find this particular belt in the store. This one is out of production. I've been looking for this belt for a year. I'm guessing that this was probably a factory second um, for some odd reason. There might be some blemish on it or something. 
and then it was sold uh, through their uh, network of, of discounted items. Because I bought this thing for like 200 bucks, I think it was, and that was a pretty slamming deal for this belt. So I would have to imagine that this was probably sold at a discount to somebody and they got it really cheap. Or like I said, they ripped it off. There's a lot of criminals out there. They're using stolen credit cards. Uh, they're doing gift card scams. They're doing all kinds of stuff or they're just straight up shoplifting. So you know, I don't know the guy's source where he got this belt, but he had several of these belts for sale. Um, and the, it really doesn't matter the source because I'm not here to play, you know, investigator of that. But the main thing is I just wanted to show you a couple of little details. There's a lot of other things you could look for in these kind of belts. But these couple of small little details, and, and all of this stuff could be faked. But the bottom line is by the time they fake all this stuff to make it this good, uh, their profit margins aren't going to be the same. This is the reason why these belts are so expensive. I mean, are they worth 500 bucks? No, they're not worth 500 bucks. But there's an extra, a lot of amount. There's, there's, I, you can't go into Walmart or, or a regular department store and buy a belt like this that has a reversible head with little teeth on it and uh, two different colors stitched together. You're not going to find something like this. You know, you might find a belt where it's been a vinyl print has been oppressed on it or painted on it or whatever, but this belt would literally last you a lifetime. You know, uh, fine belts like these that would last 20, 30 years. No problem. Seriously, I'm not even making a joke. So, this is my Fendi belt. I just wanted to show you the difference between the two. So hopefully you don't get took, don't get ripped off. And, uh, you know, they're constantly always changing the design of these things. So not everyone is going to be exactly the same. But the bottom line is that you know that there's there's certain amount of quality. You know, you will you will never see one of these belts or any of anything else that Fendi makes. I don't care if it's a shoe or bag or purse or, or, or a cell phone case, will not leave the inspection area. If the stitching is wrong, you would never, this wouldn't, they would not let this even sell as a second. They would destroy this. They would never let their belt exist with a crooked stitch like this, with a gap like that. Look at the gap. I put my finger in there. And that's not even the correct staple. You know, they would never let that leave, right? Like, notice how this is just perfect. It's perfect. Each are, These are both the exact same size. Look at that. Exactly the same size. I bet you could count the number of stitches and they're the same. The, 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 the Fendi staple there, you know. The thing about this chrome is, like, I, if I touch it, even the little tiniest bit, I'm trying to keep it shiny so that you can kind of see the quality of it. But, but anyway, you know, you've got kind of a, it's not a, it's not a real difficult mechanism. But you're not going to see the Chinese guys do this. They're not going to make something like this. And so, anyway, 200 bucks I paid for this. You can try to find them on eBay. They're extremely hard to find. But this is the real thing. That's the fake thing. Thanks for watching. Sorry for preaching to you. But that, but this kind of piracy just kind of gets on my ass. It just pisses me off. I don't know. That's, that's why I make these videos. I want you to be aware that you are not buying a Fendi belt for 25 bucks at the flea market. Guess what? It's not happening. All right. Thanks for watching. I'm Video Bob. Please subscribe.